The rights of nature movement has grown very fast, especially since Ecuador was able to introduce in its constitution the guarantee of the rights of nature. But I really like the relationship with the abolitionist movement, because the abolitionist movement was thinking and pushing towards a recognition that slaves have rights, that slaves are people. Of course they are people, that slaves cannot be treated as an object, they need to be treated as a person. And we are treating nature as an object. We, with environmental legislation, are only telling uh, how many times can you hit your slave? So how many times, how much can you contaminate or pollute a river with mercury? You're just putting the levels of how much to contaminate, how much to hit your slave. And with the Rise of Nature movement, what we're trying is to liberate nature and consider it that it's not a, an object, that it's a subject of rights and that we need to completely change our relationship with nature.